Hello everyone, welcome. Here's another video here on the Hacking Toshing Beyond channel. Let's talk a little bit about the update that Slice made here in Clover Bootloader, but it's a very interesting update, okay? Now we have here the release 5161 of Clover, and it is an update to the new Intel processors there in the case Intel Ultra. Okay, he made an adoption here in our Clover bootloader, which is very interesting and taking the script hook I made from open core so that you can update your open core there with greater ease. And then people also gave great feedback on this video, so I did it too. The same script is based on the open core Pro Clover as well which is pretty cool and I included some new things in this script and I will be passing it on to you in this video so guys Clover is being 11 boot so sensational I have used it for a long time and it's very interesting in this update that he made here of the adoption of the new Intel Ultra uh, processors right uh, that's pretty cool so I'm going to show you here some of the things he did about Comet right it's very interesting really cool so for those who use Clover uh, here I go through the script I wrote I'm going to show you this way a very simple and quick update Okay, I made a lot of changes in this script. In fact, I think it will be really cool. Then you'll like it. So let's go here. It's usually I leave the... You can find the link to our Discord and the tools I launch on the channel. They will always be available there. So I've already left it here in front of everyone, right? I kindly requested people not to download it just yet until I release the video explaining how to do it. You're going to join Discord here, okay? Once you enter, head to the Cast Hacking tab, Tosh and Beyond, and then to the Tools and Installation section. In this section here, all right? We've got the open core update, and now I've also released the Clover update. It's quite intriguing. Are you all coming here? You'll find the Discord link always provided in the video description. Place it down here. Remain here. I'll leave it on the table. Let's oh, minimize the Oak Clover utility here for now. Let me leave it here at least. First of all, guys, you're going to open your Wi-Fi. Okay, my Wi-Fi here is 0S1. I'm going to open it here and it contains Clover only. Hey, hey, this is Clover. Okay. So, I'm going to show you here that I'm in the Clover update. I'm on the Clover version here, 5.160. She's asking me to update here. Oh, but I'm not going to update now. I'm going to update through the script. Oh, here's the folder. So mine is Phi. Here is disk 0 S1 so you can change and everything. So it's good that you guys notice this part here because sometimes it changes, right? Sometimes you reboot your rack, the machine, and you end up changing this sequence here. But always notice when you open the script, it will ask for direction. So you guys have to know. The address here is where the Wi-Fi is located. 
in my case here is 0 s1 so I'm going to give two clicks here in the script that I just downloaded if it gives you this information that it cannot be opened you come here under system settings privacy and security it goes down here where it's here it's blocked protected you put open yourself open yourself enter your password and OK it will go to update here he's showing us the EFIs okay I have here I have several it's Fi in this case right I have Windows I have do okay. do I'm also using Linux right oh. so I have a lot of fire here so just checking mine is 0 s1 so I'm going to direct here to option number 1 0 s1 just enter number 1 here gives an enter and it will do the update work have you updated my clover and then he generates a whole report that I'm going to show you here okay of everything that was done in the update the only question I ask you when using this script enter here in drives I was going to update because he updated the backup drive on your Wi-Fi so to make the script safer I decided to back up you for example here in mine in my case my fight she has almost a 150 MB okay in this case it has a 149.4 MB so it wouldn't fit inside this my partition is FI in this case so I left the Clover backup of open core and it is already in this partition but here in the case of Clover it changes a little then you come here in users in the root of the HD in my case here is my name here he generated the report everything that was done within the script then you notice there and here we have the backup of our EFI which was here in use so he already made this backup for us really cool too and the drivers that are updated are inside the backup all the drivers I'm using here I'll put here for you all it was updated today at 6 p.m. and 5 oh so 18 hours and 7 so it was updated just now ready all drives are updated there including HFS plus there are people who use VBOX too it's okay no problem all updated at 6 knob and 5 miser then let's come here to select all of them as the one to be copied comes here on the main Wi-Fi that has already been updated by the script and just give a comat V here or Windows V flag to replace these guys and I'm going to hit it right and here we have the updated Clover simple as that and then you also have the backup here at the root of the HD along with the report okay it downloads it will always get the latest version of Clover's API okay in my case it is from my repository here that I left and I leave I'm also going to leave the link to my repository in the video description okay but it's the API there do Clover hack color okay of the project in which I am also part if you look here or oh, at the taxpayers it's here oh nanoto okay I'm already part of the project too so it's very interesting the clover is a boot 
so I really like and I'm using it. I also use Clover, open core for that matter. So this is the update that Slice made here, which is really cool, okay? Already for the new processors there, you can be testing. It is, for those who have the new processors, it is interesting to be testing Clover in terms of performance. It's pretty cool, huh? Slice has made a lot of cool comments for Clover. So it's worth you guys testing, okay? It's good. Um, Updated here via script. The script will then be available here in Discord, in the tab that I told you. There is the tool and facilities are open there for those who enter our Discord E. I ask you not only to enter Discord, get the script there, use it, okay? Subscribing to the channel is also important for so we can grow here and give you more support. Okay, so let me close here, close here. Very simple. Then it generated a report okay. for us. Okay. It's already updated. When I come here on the no hacking tour. Oh, imbued, he's still here. Oh. Okay, there's one available. Let me just close it and open it again to show you here that I'm still on version 5061. Then he asks to update. As we have already done the update, now via script, very easy to use. Guys, there's no secret. I'm going to reboot the machine and get back to you. I close here. I'll reboot and be right back. That's it guys. After I have restarted our machine, I will show you here which version in version it stayed. Oh, it has to be there at 5161. Let's come here on the boot flap. Oh, 5161, okay? It's on auto detect here, okay? This new version is pretty cool. And once again, congratulations to Slice for having moved very well there in the boot. In Clover, it was very interesting. And now there is a version there for the new Intel Ultra Ultra processors. There is already a nice support there. And now I'm going to show it to you. Here's how I restarted the machine, okay? I recorded a video here on my cell phone, so I'm going to pass it here via AirDrop. I'll show you something quick here. Look, it's already coming here. Try the butt loader cover, which is very interesting. Look, it already came here for me. I'm going to open it here. Okay, I recorded the screen with my cell phone. I'll show it to you here. It's like I said, oh, I got a lot of boots here, right? Bonto has Windows too, so it has multiple partitions here. Like the script just showed you this guy. Oh, here is the Clover boot screen. Then I show you here, oh, the version that is 5.161 after restarting using the script. And then I will count together with you here, oh, 12, 34, 56, 78, 9, 1, 7, 11, 12, 1, 3. 14, 14 seconds of booting Clover is sensational, guys. You can't talk like that, you have to test it because this new version is really cool there. 51161 from the Clover bootloader. Okay, remembering I'll let you. I always leave the Discord link of our channel there. 
in the description of the video just go in and download the clover update script clover you will also come across O entering here in discord tools and installations here O just download there from the moment it came out the video can you download here and follow what I did in the video there open core as well I made some changes from backup of and Fi, the new inclusion of keys too which is quite interesting I haven't updated it here yet because I will make the video in relation to open core with the script update this one here is the first one I released and here we have clovers 1 2 which I'm putting here in the video now for you okay guys that's what I wanted to show you Stay tuned for more videos, subscribe to the channel, it's very important, the channel has a nice engagement on YouTube, so that we can also show our work to more people there. Please make sure to share the channel link with all your friends and acquaintances, as this will allow us to collectively share the knowledge. Becoming a member is crucial as the channel is packed with numerous amazing tools and exclusive videos accessible only to members. The teachings shared on the channel are unique and not readily available elsewhere, making it highly beneficial. Stay blessed and in peace, everyone. For literally everyone.